Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to basically shoot out the laser. Now, when you think of a projectile, you think of something like literally being shot out. But if you think of a laser, a laser is just the beam of light. And while the technically the speed of light is an infinite, it does technically traverse. But to most observers, a laser just simply comes out as fast as we can. So we can easily do that. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, take this out here and I'm going to just do event tick. And I always like to delete everything at the beginning. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of a habit here. But what we need to do is we need to add in a line trace by channel. Okay, line trace by channel. Okay, and then what this is going to do is, is that if you think of this cube here, right, so if you get this cube, it's going to basically shoot, point out a line here to this area. Okay, We're just, it's, that's all it's going to do. It's just going to point out a line. Okay. So what do we want to do with that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to get our static mesh, and we need to do a couple of things here. So first things first is we need uh, to get world location, all right? and we're just going to plug that into the start. Okay. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to get forward vector. Then we need to multiply. Okay. Multiply the um, the float here, and we can multiply that by let's say, you know, two hundred or something like that. And after that, we need to add the f um, the vector here. Okay. And since the technically adding is not one of those um, where it doesn't matter here, but Technically, it's better to do this just from a logic point of view. Okay, we're going to go in here and we're going to do one per frame. And I think let's compile that. Everything works out here. And let's say that here. And as you can see, we now have a line here that's basically showing you um, uh, basically showing you exactly what we need to do here. Okay, so there we go. So now, uh, now that we have that, uh, we need to add in some more features here okay so um, what we're going to do is we're going to first of all add in a branch okay and that branch uh, let's just add in the false here and we'll say uh, set world scale and we need to set this on the static mesh okay just simply drag that out here next up is we're going to say the the hits here Oh, actually, you know what? This is not the right one. Huh. Uh, this has to be line trace by channel. There we go. For some reason, it was a multi trace here. Oh, well. And if I do that here, I think, yeah, that, so everything works out. Line trace by channel. Okay, it's, everything's mostly the same here, except for this. This our hit, we need to uh, do something called a break hit result. Expand that, and within that here, um, we need to uh, subtract vector, and we're going to subtract the uh, impact point. We're going to add in the vector length, okay? vector length and from that here um, we are going to duplicate this kind of move that over here um, looks like I d duplicated multiple things here but this is going to be in the true okay and then next up here we need to um, drag this out and we're gonna say make 
vector here. Okay, and in that make vector, um, we need to do a couple things. So actually, if we if we run this here, you can see that well, not quite working out the way we wanted to, but we're getting closer. Okay, so nevertheless, um, we need to go back to our viewport here, click on the static mesh, and find this number here. And just to make it easy, we'll make it 0 0.05. Um, and that way it's just a nice easy number here okay so we go here and right in event graph and we're just going to do 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 so I'm just going to go ahead and push play here and not quite there yet but we're we're close all right and I think this here needs to be a pretty high number so I'm just going to say 10,000 okay and then there you go that is working out the way we want it to so as you can see there's a couple of things that we need to do so first of all this laser uh, you can't walk through it because the collisions are enabled um, so we're gonna have to disable that but sure enough that does indeed work so let me just quickly explain how this works here it's it's actually quite simple all this all this line trace by channel here is doing is it's saying um, you know it line traces to whatever wall it is okay so that's kind of step one um, but we need to multiply it in order to actually get there okay so everything else is looking pretty good so far okay let's do a couple other things let's event tick uh, not event tick but event begin play and in this begin play we are going to disable um, the collisions here so uh, collisions enabled is collisions and no that's not the one uh, we need to set collisions set collisions enabled okay so which so I dragged out the static mesh in particular okay and then we want no collisions so I think that should do it and so now you can simply walk through so this so as you can see this is kind of a tripwire uh, etc and you know this laser is pretty big uh, so maybe we want to maybe make that 0 0.1, 0 0.01 or something. Uh, maybe, maybe a bit too small. 0 0.02, 0 0.02. And if you change that, then you have to change these values too. Okay, and then for some reason that's coming up. Doesn't matter here, but anyway, nevertheless, there we go. I, that looks like more of a laser here. So as you can see, oh, and by the way, by the way, um, let's do a couple of things. So if I, for instance, show you that if I want to rotate this, like if I want to rotate it over here, you'll see that it shoots to wherever it really wants to. Okay, so that is a good simple tutorial on how to make a laser. All right. In the next tutorial, we're going to be adding in a little bit more functionality to this, changing the laser color and making it rotate. See you in the next tutorial.